and then look over here. Right. It's better if you put it put all, all together mm -hmm. and succinctly. And there's some ways you can do that. And by using a spreadsheet with formulas, when you go to renegotiate or when you're building your budget and you've got a cap and, oh, I'm over $20,000, it's a lot easier to, to go back and play with those figures. Mm -hmm. Or, gee, it says I can have 400 and I'm under by $80,000. Is there something else I need? Don't just buff your budget up, but look at it, see if there's something else you can do, or could I add more participants, and is it realistic that I can find those people, those kinds of things. Okay, we're real close. This is the cumulative budget, and that just kind of collapses everything that you just did. None of these add, there are no formulas in the sheet, okay? And then this is supplemental information. The program code, you will find in the RFP. You must fill that out. And then they want to know about Lincoln University. They asked for this twice in this grant, and I'm not sure why. And if we have um, a legal app applicant, if we have a DHHS services payment management system, and you can say yes or no, you do not have to give them that PIN number, and you will not get that PIN number. That gives you access to things you don't need. Keywords, that's keywords from your project, and if you have any conflicts of interest. When you have all this completed, you can run a check package for errors. And all that does is looks to see that you have something entered in the required boxes. And I'm not going to do that because it's going to, I didn't fill all that out. It doesn't say what you put in there is right. But it says you can, you filled all the fields. And you cannot save and submit. You don't have access to do that, but you can save. And you can save this multiple times. I, I always just save it over so that I don't have a bunch of versions and, and inadvertently send Kendra the wrong one. Okay? Is there any questions? No, when you get to the end, doesn't this application, I know some do, it'll show errors or concerns you, in a box when you get to the end, If you hit this where it says check packages mm -hmm. for errors, it gives you that. I'm saying if you don't check and you go to the end of the application, I know some do. No, it automatically you, have comes to, up. you have to do this check process. Okay. Because many people, a lot of people have these open two or three weeks and they're continually adding mm -hmm. to it. And it will get checked. Yeah. That settles. Right. And if it hasn't, project. if you haven't done that and you forward it to Kendra and it's a problem and you're like most of us and it's two days or the day that it's due, she can't, she cannot submit it. It will not allow submission if there, if there are any errors that have not been resolved. Okay. That's why I remember seeing, yeah. you know, some application like when you get to the end and when you get ready to put an electronic signature or something on it or a digital signature, it will automatically show Well, boxes. she gets that. Okay. She gets that. It's okay. too late if but you wait But the applicant doesn't get that. No, Kendra okay. Edwards gets it because okay. you don't submit it. And it's too late if you wait till then. She's got to find you then. You've got to fix it and resend it to her. Okay. And you're, you're really pushing your luck by doing that. You, you want to do this check package for errors, and you don't want to forward this until they're, they're all resolved. Okay? Uh, yes? For the public budget, is this person to take some money from this for reference books? Or? Depends. Depends on the on the what the program announcement says. Well, it would depend on your justification. Why do you need those reference books? In this case, this gentleman was doing capacity building for um, a specific field here at Lincoln University. So he had money for references and money for um, subscription to websites that had, and, and they're fairly expensive. Maybe you need to do library searches. So it just depends on how you are able to justify that. What's the purpose of your program and do they really lend to it or not? If it's just because you think it'd be keen to have, they're probably gonna deny it. You're lucky they just deny that, re the references. Like they could deny the whole budget because they think you're just out to get what you can get. Uh -huh.